In this video, I just want to review how to share a document successfully, whether you want to share it with someone who can collaborate and edit it with you, or whether you just want to share it so they can view it. Now, Google has given us lots of ways to get to the sharing feature, so I want to review those very quickly. One is, I've got this sample document selected. If I right click on it, I can choose the sharing option. If I just have it selected and come up to the top of the screen and click the person with the plus sign, I can get to the sharing options. Or if I have the document open, and here I do have it open, I have this giant blue sharing button available to me. Does not matter which way you do it, you will get the same options. So all that matters is what do you do when you get there? So I'm going to come up here and click on the big blue sharing button. And it opens this window to share with people and groups. If I want to just share this document directly with someone, in this case, maybe Laura, I can add her email address and I can choose. Am I going to allow her to edit this document with me? Can she view it and comment but not change it? Or is she just a viewer? I want her to see it, but I don't want her to do anything else with it. And that's all I want. So I can set that permission. If I want her to get an email that says this document has been shared with you, I can click the notify button and put in a little message that says, here's the sample document we talked about. And then I can hit send. She will get an email that tells her she's been invited to view this document. There will be a link. She clicks on it. She can come here and view the document. So that's one option for sharing. I could do that with as many people as I wanted. I could add five names, ten names, however many. If I put in a number of people, let's say now I pick Ernie, they are all getting the same permission though. Everybody gets the same once you start lining up people on this row. So that's the only key. If you're just sharing it with people, that's how you control it. But if I want to send it to a bigger group, or I want to modify sharing a little bit more, I can come down and get a link. So I'm going to click the blue thing here that says, I want to change link to Capital Region Education Council. Really all I want to do is open up that box. So there's the link to the document. And as it is right now, anyone that belongs to CREC that gets this link can either view it, comment, or edit it. You might get the link, but if you're not logged on with your CREC account, you can't view it. It's limited to people at CREC. I can change that. I can say anyone with the link can now either be a viewer, a commenter, or an editor send that out to anybody or I can restrict it and now only people that I add can open with this link and that means I would have to come back and add them at the top otherwise the link won't work so you really don't need that last one because just entering their names here takes care of that so it's easy for you to control your settings and your sharings, you just have to make sure that you're paying close attention to who gets to view, who gets to edit, who gets to comment, and how broadly does a link open up your document to other viewers. So those are the sharing settings in managing your Google Drive.